Hello everyone, welcome back. This is your friend inside XO. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to bind your C or C++ code with Cson and try to make a Python package with it. Uh, first, you have to go to the blog page of mine. Uh, the title of that uh, blog is how to bind the C or C++, C++ code with Cson and package it. Uh, then I just give you guys a GitHub link. You can go to there because that's the example or the source code of this tutorial. Um, in that tutorial, I used the Cson, but actually you get more actions. Uh, you you get more options to choose. For example, you can use py bound eleven. You can use post dot py. You can use swig cffi sip cppyy c types or even nandco. You can use all those stuff. But here I'm gonna focus on the c song. All right, this is the repository of uh, of the the source code. Uh, to run this, you first have to clone this project. Then you you have to use pipe install with a dot. Then you uh, do a test with Python three test py. For example, let's go to there. Okay, here I already have the source code at my local storage. First, we have to do a installation. So that would be pipe three install dot. And you will say it's compiling, and it's done. Then after that, we can run the test Python file, and you will say two sentences. One sentence is from the CPP, and another one is from the pure Python. We can have a look at the test data file. You would say first we import just the test data high library from CPP as CPP high. Then CPP high say hi to inside XO. Then we did another import. We say import just a test dot high library from Python as py high. py high dot say something. Okay, then we have to give it a look at the setup file. At the first we import the Cson. Yeah, because we need Cson to compile or packaging. Then we just give the Package LAN, other LAN, and setup requires to say some. Uh, we say extension modules. Why here we use extension modules? Because we were using C. C uh, is meant to be an extension for Python packaging. Okay, the first one is the name of that extension or model that we can use is just the test dot high library from CPP. Then we have to give it the Source the C source file that would be uh, under the C high folder. Here we got a file C Cson high dot pyx. Uh, the suffix pyx uh, it is used by the Cson. Then we may or may not have to include the CPP definition folders. Uh, for some of you, uh, if you are using some uh, ex extra uh, library, you may have to uh, set the extra link parameters. Uh, then we have to specify the language to C++. Uh, another extension or another module, it is just a test that high library from Python. Uh, from the name, you can say uh, this, this module is uh, spilled from pure Python. And, and that's uh, that source file of of this module is 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 a file named high pyx under the py high folder, and the IP safe equal to false. Okay, this is the setup file. Now let's have a look at the uh, the two folders. The first one is the c high. At this folder, it contains the cpp source file and the c Cson bindings. And at the first, we have to we can have a look at the high data cpp file because that's the that's that's the thing that only matters because this is the the c code uh, from from the c code we can see here we just have one function uh, which called install xo 
and it will print out a sentence, uh, CPP high in uh, Then uh, we have to define the bindings. The bindings, uh, it is in the season high dot PXD. PXD. Uh, we can have a look at it. It says say define external. Uh, why we say external? Because it's a C function. We have to import it from the high dot CPP file. And we have to um, define the uh, the 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 C code. Uh, uh, we we have to do some def definition for the C code. For example, um, before we said the C, C code only got one function, which is inside XO. So here you have to uh, still define your function, uh, at least the LAN and its type. We don't have to define uh, the. We have to. We don't have to uh, write the logic in here. Okay. After that, uh, uh, we have to. Uh, we have to create our own functions that we can use from Python. That is Cson.high.pyx. Pyx, this function. Uh, it says say import Cson high as the C library. Uh, it's actually uh, what it does is to import the Cson high.pxd. Okay, now you can have a better understanding about this. First, we do a bounding with a suffix pdx. pdx. Uh, then we do an import from the uh, pxd from the pxd, and we define our function. Here we say define say hi to inside xo the c library dot inside xo. All right. After that, we can probably just. Uh, Call that function from our test file. As you can see here, uh, we import a high library from CPP and we say say hi to inside XO. So normally we uh, if we want to bound a C library or bound your C code, first you have to bound the C code. Then you have to uh, redefine the function with uh, with with some Python line then in the PYX. Uh, uh, let's to be more clear uh, Let's to be more clear. Uh, first, you have to bound your C code with the suffix the pxd. Then you have to import the pxd file. Uh, then define your Python APIs. Uh, we we do this at the pyx file. Okay, that's the C side. Now let's go to the Python side. This would be much simpler. Uh, let's go to the py high folder. Uh, it, it only got one file high dot pyx. Uh, from here we can say it's just a function, say something, and print out a Python high inside XO. And you may notice that we didn't use any type hand here because we don't need that. Uh, normally, uh, when you use say song, you can just uh, ignore the type. You can any any pure Python or any py any Python module can be used in Cson without any problem. So you you don't have to worry about the uh, the usage usage of normal Python code. It's okay. It's okay. So um, so this is how we uh, how how we use Cson to bound C code. Meanwhile, we can also have our Python uh, module inside the the packaging. Uh, the two modules, the two modules, they are all under the just the test uh, lamp space or package lamp. Uh, you can do this multiple times, uh, but here I just did it two times, so I have two modules. You can do it whatever you like. Uh, so this is today's tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I showed you guys how to uh, bound your C or C++ code with uh, Python and uh, do a package with it. Um, this is very important because normally a lot of awesome packages like LAMPI or TensorFlow or uh, PyTorch or uh, or 
or Panda 3D. Uh, I don't know. Uh, they are based on C codes, C or C++ codes. So uh, it is very important to know how to bind those stuff. Um, okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.